weeks before I started one of my first classes at seminary, about three years ago now, my grandmother passed away. And I spent that time helping with the funeral and cleaning up her apartment. Turns out she had a lot of hats, and I got several of them. And one of them in particular, my grandmother wore the most. It is a black felt kind of a cloche style bucket hat, if you know what one of those is. And it was very cold in Chicago where I attend seminary classes, and so I wore her hat. All day, as I walked around going in and out of buildings for lunch and dinner and for class, I was always taking the hat off and putting it back on. And every time I would take it off, a piece of my grandmother's white hair, which was stuck in the fibers of the hat, would slip out and fly through the wind. And I would be reminded of her. And it felt like she was with me, blessing me, blessing my journey into ministry. My grandmother had died, but she still felt very much alive. I was reminded of this recently watching the movie Moana. I'm sure many of you have seen it. It centers around the title character Moana, who is a young indigenous Polynesian woman who sets off on an ocean voyage of self-discovery, not unlike seminary. And just before she goes, her grandmother dies. Now this is a Disney movie, and oddly enough, a lot of Disney movies start with the death of an important character. But this movie was a little different in that it was one of the first Disney movies to really attempt to tell the story of an indigenous people from their perspective, using actors of Polynesian ancestry. And for Moana, and for the indigenous people of the Polynesian islands, family relationships, particularly with elders, is a deeply meaningful part of the culture. And as Moana sets off in her boat, she isn't sure she's going to be able to break through the big waves and get past the reef out into the open ocean. And suddenly, her grandmother appears as a beautiful, huge, electric blue stingray. And Moana knows it's her. And Grandmother Stingray swims under the boat and then up and out through the big wave and then off into the distance, leaving a trail of blue that lights the way for Moana. And that's the direction that Moana goes. How many of us have someone like that in our life? Someone who's passed away and yet still lights the way for us someone we loved, someone whose memory we carry with us, that continues to inspire us and teach us and help us find our way. Later in the movie, Moana decides she's going to quit and go home. It's too hard. She can't do it. And her grandmother appears to her again, still in that electric blue light, but this time in the form of her human grandmother. And she says to Moana, you can go home if you want. I know this is hard. I won't be mad at you. I won't be disappointed. But first you have to ask yourself, who are you? And Moana asks, who am I? And suddenly she is surrounded by all of her ancestors, all her Polynesian ancestors, who she learns took ocean voyages just like the one she is on. And they are all still alive in her, her hopes and her dreams and desires. She is connected to all the ancestors who have come before her. Everything they taught that has been passed down through the generations is reborn in her. And connecting with this, knowing this, gives her the strength to continue on, determined to finish her journey. She then sings her big song, and the title is I am Moana, Song of the Ancestors. I am the Song of the Ancestors. In most of Christianity, we hear the story of Jesus' resurrection as the story of one man who was God, one man who saved the entire human race. But in the Christian Bible, in which Jesus' story appears, there are books and books and books of stories that come before Jesus. There is an ancient religion, Judaism, out of which Jesus took all of his teachings. If you consider all of that history, all of those ancestors, the story of Easter isn't just about Jesus. 
It is about all the people who come before us through antiquity and into the present so that we can continually be reborn and take their teachings and live them out in new ways. And when someone dies and yet lives, it is because of all the people they have affected and influenced, all the people who hold their memory and carry their teaching on, often in ways that the person could never have even imagined. My grandmother's hat and her hair were just physical reminders that she was still alive inside me. I carry her with me, her love for me, her belief in me. We all carry these people inside of us, these people who have died and yet somehow live. Our ancestors, those we know and don't know, they all influence us in profound ways, both beautiful and painful. Those things we choose to embrace and those we choose to let go. My grandmother taught me, among other things, about being honest and generous, and this was taught to her by her mother. And on it goes, up through the generations. Not all of our ancestors are perfect, but we take what was good and we give it new life. That is what we are celebrating on Easter, that the earth is continually reborn, and so is humanity. And then resurrection isn't about that one man. It's about carrying forward the love of our ancestors and the dream for generations to come. As you use, this dream is one of justice and peace, where everyone is welcome and everyone is valued and everyone is saved. And not just by one man, but by all of us together. The theme of resurrection continues in the movie Moana, but I've spoiled it enough for you. I won't tell you what happens in the end. Hopefully you'll see it. It's not too bad. But I want to encourage you today, as we celebrate Easter and spring and rebirth, to think about those ancestors, those people whose love you carry inside you that inspires you. And let that be reborn today. Let that carry you forward. The community that always surrounds you that you do not see. The community here at CLF that you don't always see. Although our world can often be a cold and lonely winter, let us be a people of the ancestors who appreciate the darkness, who learn from those who have come before and who lead one another and the generations who come after us always into the miracle of rebirth, nurtured by community and the new life of springtime. Amen and blessed be.